So really concerning news out of Canada. We've heard report after report that the authorities started a fire in very close proximity to people's houses, practically right in their backyards, and didn't tell people they were starting this fire. And it seems to have been disastrous, leaving devastation in its wake. The fire was set upwind of many people's prized homes. And it doesn't sound like they notified these homeowners that they were starting this fire. Not that that would excuse it. But we have to ask, were they trying to burn down these neighborhoods? All right, today I have two very sad stories to bring to you. These are from Canadian residents who see firsthand what's going on in the burn zone. Here's Brad's testimony. This is difficult news, and he shares a screenshot. North Shushwap controlled burn saved hundreds of homes. BC Wildfire Service maintains from Global News. This is difficult news. The wildfire that destroyed my sister's home was a controlled burn that merged with an existing fire. So controlled burn means that the firefighters set the fire. So the controlled burn is a new fire that the firefighters added to the mix. The resulting fire tore through several small communities along the north shore of Shuswap Lake. So here's another testimony saying that people's homes were destroyed. In this case, Brad's sister started by a controlled burn that merged with an existing fire. Is this why they want everybody evacuated? So they can add to the fire, to the devastation and the destruction? The wildfire that destroyed my sister's home was a controlled burn that merged with an existing fire. The resulting fire tore through several small communities along the north shore of Shuswap Lake. And the next testimony I wanted to share is from somebody named Luis. I actually wanted to be a journalist when I was a kid. In quotes. Aired on CBC. Having to watch a BCWS spokesperson say that the catastrophic backburn saved hundreds of homes after they used a photo of our business in flames as an attention grabber. Where are these hundreds of homes that it saved? Homes and businesses are lost and still being lost every day. In Celesta, Scotch Creek, Lee Creek, Adams Lake, and Squalix. I don't even know about Sorrento, Turtle Valley, or Bear Creek. I've seen photos of active fires everywhere right now, approaching homes. We don't know the scope of it. This is far from over. In the time that Brian and incredibly supportive local contractors spent defending our home in the last few days, he only saw two BCWS people who arrived in one truck. They were clean and stayed that way, didn't lift a finger, said, looks like you're doing the right thing, and left. Now military police won't let people leave their property. The Minister of Forests texted, quote, starve them out, starve them out. And this can be verified. She writes, fuel delivery has been cut off. People won't be able to use their generators to run their pumps. How could they expect us to trust authorities when they didn't put the fire out when it was small and manageable? When they executed a disastrous large scale ignition that sent the fire places they never predicted. And in addition to this large scale ignition, they didn't tell people. They failed to issue an evacuation notice in time and people were trapped and had to be rescued by boat. The authorities also withdrew personnel on the worst night possible, she says, to save their homes with some remarkable success. They continue to paint local people as criminals when they tirelessly continue to fight every day with their own equipment. And finally, the authorities encourage the media to distort the reality. And these are the reasons given where she says, how can you expect us to trust the authorities when they do all these things? And the final paragraph here, fire still burns extensively within the 40,000 plus hectare perimeter. My people are afraid to leave because the authorities have proved untrustworthy. These men and women are exhausted and stressed, running on adrenaline amid the devastation. Now they are criminals. They never wanted to be wildfire fighters. They would be happy to have fresh crews come to spell them off, but no one comes.